Tawi Sie Niato nonapadi irovir, kuni ugnawata ir. Usair kokonato, tanatia, katanano, shafatoyo, kokonato siiri pananiniko. Te kotro tuaso. Okasena orkane ayakane ni? A potential customer is a welcome customer. What can I do for you? Oh yes, I had heard that someone was injured and immediately saw the opportunity to make vast sums of... No, to make a difference, that's it. Anyway, I've checked my stocks and I only have enough ingredients to make one dose of the salve for a poultice. I'm not sure how much good it will do by itself. Might take a bit of the sting away. Oh, now that's thinking, isn't it? Yes, I suppose red silk grass might be just the thing for a wound. I could add it to the poultice. Expensive stuff, that. Very pricey. Hard to acquire, too. Would certainly help her wound, but I know something just as good. Get her some bearded tongue grass and she'll feel better. It won't hasten the healing any, so she'll have to take it easy, but it will deaden the pain. If you think you can justify such opulence to heal something that time would take care of, who am I to argue? I'll just need your payment to prepare the poultice. Business has been slow. What am I supposed to do? Starve? You see to the heart of the matter. I suppose I can't risk losing the sale when I have no other stock, so I will knock a few silvers off the price. An excellent choice. I'll mix the salve for you and prepare the poultice. It won't take a moment. There you go. Her pain will fade quickly and the binding effects of red silk grass will make sure she can fight again, if she wants to. Your generosity is extreme, but who am I to complain? Enjoy, and I hope it makes your friend better quickly. 
Do come back when the weight of your silver is slowing you down. Always happy to help. I heard how you faced those bandits in the village. Many people are impressed, but I expected no less. Your skill is a match for any rough bandit. Is there anything you need? Perhaps a training session with some of the students. It would do them good. Ah, yes, training. For some time now, I have offered, for a small fee, to run students through a short regimen that will help them enhance their abilities. The lessons you learn from me, or from any trainer for that matter, will stay with you and help make you stronger or better able to focus your mind or magic. Let's see what you can learn. What can I do for you? I am here to serve and train. Yes, and the students are on edge from the bandit attack. It would do them good to work some of that out. It is a shame about Kia Min. She holds the record for the most opponents defeated in my little training challenge. No one can challenge her record while she is injured. I have a little something tucked away for anyone who can best Kiamin's feet. That includes you, of course, but any attempt will have to wait until she is healed. I know you held it until recently, but Kiamin has a knack for group fights, and she set a new bar just yesterday. As I said, I have a special incentive for anyone who can beat her performance. But you will have to wait until she is healed before I have enough students. You could match it, but with Kiamin injured, there aren't enough students free to beat it. You will have to wait until she is healed to challenge the record. I can arrange for a little sparring. Are there any special conditions you would like to introduce? I know you prefer a challenge. I am sorry, but Master Lee does not permit such techniques to be flaunted at the school. There is danger in wielding such power if you are not ready. He does not demonstrate those skills very often. There are paths of the way that hold great temptation if one is not careful. I can clarify this, but I cannot offer the fight you wish. Yes, I suppose your fight against the bandits made you want to brush up on this technique. I can arrange for as many as four students to fight you. A duo to test their cooperation. Some of the younger students will think you are easy prey in such a situation. Show them the truth. Remember, this is only a practice match. It will continue until you or your opponents are rendered unconscious. Thousand cuts! Yeah. <laughs> Very 
very good. Another victory well earned. Now, is there anything else you would like? I can arrange for a little sparring. Are there any special conditions you would like to introduce? I know you prefer a challenge. Yes, I suppose your fight against the bandits made you want to brush up on this technique. I can arrange for as many as four students to fight you. A trio. Very well. This will be a valuable experience for all involved. Remember, this is only a practice match. It will continue until you or your opponents are rendered unconscious. Another victory well earned. Now, is there anything else you would like? I can arrange for a little sparring. Are there any special conditions you would like to introduce? I know you prefer a challenge. Yes, I suppose your fight against the bandits made you want to brush up on this technique. I can arrange for as many as four students to fight you. Facing a foursome means that you will have to remain aware of the fighting environment the whole time. Be ready. Remember, this is only a practice match. It will continue until you or your opponents are rendered unconscious. Another victory well earned. Now, is there anything else you would like? I can arrange for a little sparring. Are there any special conditions you would like to introduce? I know you prefer a challenge. Very well. I'll choose someone who is competent in one-on-one -on -one combat. This is only a practice bout, so fight until your opponent is knocked out. Get ready. You are improving every day. I have observed your technique and you may not realize it, but you are more resilient. Let me show you. Now, is there anything else you wish at the moment? Goodbye. I am here if you need anything. This has been a busy day for us all. Is there something you need? The sun breaks through the clouds when I hear news like this. Heavens, I can already feel it working. That's amazing. Yes, yes, this should be perfect. The poultice must have cost you some silver. Let me repay you. What did it cost? Did you manage that? Must have been quite a feat. Why don't I give you the real value of the ingredients for your hard work? Given how quickly I could feel an effect, this cure was worth it. Here, take this with my thanks. If you're interested in trying to set a new record for Smiling Mountain's special prize, whatever it is, then I'll be ready.
Goodbye. What can I do for you? I am here to serve and trade. What is there to say? She tells me that she is feeling much better. If you wish to face her, I will allow it. Kiamin says that she is feeling well and her wound seems to be already healing. I believe she will provide a fine challenge for you. If you win this match, then I will have a special reward for you. Good fortunes. As promised, here is a reward for setting a new standard. Kia Min is eager to try again, but I asked her to rest for now. She seems well, despite her earlier injury. Now, is there anything else you wish at the moment? Goodbye. I am here if you need anything. Well, it seems you have everyone on your side again. Hero of the village as well as the school. It is a well-earned accolade. We should all be proud. I'm not sure why. Such vermin are barely a threat. I beat a couple of those fools as well, just not the swarm on the beach. They deserved a chance to celebrate, in my opinion, so I left them with a few silvers with which to enjoy themselves. They took down a bandit who dared try to circle around me. That's the kind of support I need. Men who watch my back, but don't get in my way. Besides, what's a few bandits to one of my skill? Hardly worth the time. So you are at their beck and call? A service animal for those too weak to protect themselves. That's an endless foolish road to go down. There are always victims, always weaklings. You could live a thousand lives and still someone would be begging for your help. Why should I care? I have little interest in the other students here, and even less for the mud bombers outside. I am here to train, nothing more. You'll soon see what I am capable of. I will make sure of it. I'm done with you. Go talk to your precious master. Training will not resume until he has met with you. Ah, you are back. I hope this unfortunate matter with the bandits has not caused undue stress. Some good people were lost, but many were saved. It means, however, that I must accelerate your training. These invaders discovered us by accident, but as you likely suspect, they are related to your destiny. You have trained hard and are ready. You will have a pivotal role in some great events, my student, after you return from the Spirit Cave. I object! Gao, what is the meaning of this intrusion? Your pet student is not the only one who fought those outlaws. Perhaps I did not stand in their midst on the beach like a fool, but I did my part. If you spent less time coddling her, you would have many promising students instead of one.
This is not a matter that can be decided by effort, Gao. There are things at play that you do not understand. I understand that this student has received preferential treatment, and I have suffered for it. Whatever is in this spirit cave, I am worthy of facing it too. If she is truly better than me, let her prove it. I challenge her. I will not have you brawling in the street. If this must happen, it will happen in the ring, as a proper test of your abilities. Gao, you are restricted to styles that I have taught. I know the dark tutoring your father, Gao the Greater, has imparted, but I won't have any such sorcery here. Hobbled before I begin? Of course. How else would your precious protege win? My student, I do not trust Gao to fight honorably. Consider your attacks carefully. Prepare yourself and return when you are ready. Then let the fighters meet in the arena. Fighters, are you ready? This challenge will continue until one of you is incapacitated. This is not a practice bout. Injury is a possibility. A possibility? I think it is more than likely. Master, are you certain this is appropriate? They have a dispute, and this is the only way to settle it with certainty. It will be an honorable contest. I have restricted Gao from using his father's sorcery. I said you would regret getting in my way. Fighters, begin! Heavenly way. Thousand cuts. This is it. It is done. The challenge has concluded and the winner is clear. No! I'm not finished! Gao, I have made enough concessions to you today. I thought I could guide you away from your corrupted path. But you are too much the son of Gao the Greater. You are no longer welcome among my students, and your father's house shall have no more business here, despite his influence. I was not beaten! Not by this peasant! You were defeated by your own foolish ambition and predictable temper. I will speak with you in my chambers about your expulsion. Go now. Everyone, this challenge is concluded. I'm sure the victor would appreciate your congratulations. They are well earned. Enjoy the words of your fellows. I will wait in the main hall, where we will discuss the spirit cave. Be certain you are ready when you come to me. Your life is about to change. That was exciting. I'm glad you are safe. I knew you would be. Your skill is unmatched. Even Gao had to see that. I suppose that's what set him off. I hope he isn't allowed to stay. Punishment just makes him worse. Master Li has bent like a willow to accommodate him and his sorcerer's father.
Yes, yes, he does. I didn't want to say, but, well, I guess that's why we aren't the master and he is. He must be thinking of bigger things. It scares me sometimes, all this talk of troubled spirits. I didn't ask to be a part of it. As much as you want to know more, I doubt you had a say in your fate either. I'm... I'm sorry, this is supposed to be a happy time. You've proven your ability and Master Lee is waiting for you. You should go to him. Ah, there you are. Have you finished all your business with your fellow students? I expect our next conversation to change a great many things. You should be ready. Wait outside, Gal. I will finish with you later. Now, my student, there are many things ahead that you must discover about yourself. I trust you know the importance of your destiny. You are an orphan, but you were not abandoned. You were rescued from the Temple of Dirge in the land of howling spirits. You were orphaned by violent action. I take responsibility for it. You see, I used to be more than a humble teacher. To learn of yourself, you must learn more of me. I was once leader of the Imperial Army. I was known as Sun Li, the glorious strategist. I am the brother of Emperor Sun Hai. I will tell you more, but first, we have an uninvited visitor. Gao never could keep his ears to himself, especially when angry. So predictable. He's heard as much as I wanted him to. Perhaps it will give him a little perspective. He should respect even the most humble person, because who knows what lies within? That includes you and me both. I was ashamed. He seized your homeland during the long drought. It was an aggressive change in the Empire that would soon bring Death's hand to power. I withdrew my support and tried to rally your people against the siege I had helped plan. A doomed effort. Many died on both sides. Sun Kin, another brother, also fell. Listen, I will tell you how you came into my care. No. Oh. 